Welcome to another video and uh, let's solve this uh, problem for the value of x. We have tan x equals to cos x. And uh, you know from this if you have tan x equals to cos x, so we are going to uh, note that if you have tan x is an identity of uh, sin x divided by cos x. And uh, we try to replace it in the given problem which is sin x divided by cos x equals to cos x and if this cos x is divided by 1 then we are going to cross multiply by doing so we have sin x multiplied by 1 equals to cos x multiplied by cos x that is cos square x and if you collect everything to one side, so at this we have cos square x minus sine x equals to zero. And looking at this, they are not identical. So we should also know that if you have cos square x, it's also an identity of one minus sine square x. So by trying to replace it, we have uh, one minus sine square x minus sine x equals to zero and uh, looking at this if i try to make sine square x the subject or uh, let's say i let it start so i'm going to multiply negative throughout both sides so just to have sine square x to start this equation so by multiplying throughout by negative we have this as negative one plus sine square x plus sine x equals to zero so we cannot do the rearrangement as sine square x plus sine s minus one equals to zero so but looking at this uh we are going to compare this with this uh quadratic uh, equations which is ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero and from here uh, we agree that the x square is just like sine square x so where the coefficient of sine square x is a which is one and we also have b which is equals to the coefficient of sine x and uh, it is one then we have c which is the constant term which is minus one and we also recall from the quadratic equations which says if you have x equals to minus uh, x equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so we are going to apply this in this um, formula. So given this, and we know the equation of sine square x is a and sine x is b, y constant is minus 1. So we try to do that. Uh, we have sine x equals to uh, sine x is having 1 as a coefficient, which is b. So we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 raised to the power 2 minus 4 dot a is 1 and um, c is minus 1 all divided by 2.1 then we have sine x equals to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 square is 1 minus times minus is plus and 4 times 1 times 1 that is 4 divided by 2 and then we have sine x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2 and then from this since we have plus and minus we can separate this as sine x equals to root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and we can still have sine x equals to minus uh minus root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and to get the value of x we are going to take the sine inverse of both sides so we have x equals to sine inverse of 
root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. And uh, for the second one, so we have x equals to sine inverse of minus root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. And uh, here is the solution to this problem. So thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video. If you have another way of doing this, you can drop it in the comment box. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.